Hello everyone, this is Dan from uh, Tusco.com and in this video I want to show you how to use uh, WordPress Bing Map Pro. Uh, so let's get started. First of all, we want to add the new plugin. Search for WP Bing Map Pro. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to click activate. Once we have it, it should show up on the left hand side menu. Now we got the maps. We're going to create a new map. Save. Now we go to edit. Once we get here, uh, Bing Map is going to prompt us with a message to, uh, to add an API key to the map. Otherwise, we cannot actually use it. So we want to get an new API key or if we have one uh, just copy it and paste it in this field and save the settings if you don't have one just get it. let's go and grab one <coughs> I've already created an account if you don't have one just go to microsoft.com and get a new account create a new account and put your credentials in and you're gonna get to this point I'm going to click on my, my account, my keys. I've already created two, so I'm going to demo how to create one. Click here, enter application name, it's mandatory. URL is not mandatory. Uh, key type is going to be always basic, and the application type for our instance is going to be a website. Click create, and the application uh, information is going to be down here. Um, you're going to click on show key, so now we have access to the key, we're going to copy it, go back to the settings plugins page and paste the uh, API key, save and we should be good to go. Back to the uh, uh, map, we go back to edit and now the message is gone. Uh, the next step we want to have some pins, right? Go to map pins. But we have no pins created. We go to pins, go to add, put a reference name, pin one, in this example. I'm gonna add a custom icon. I'm gonna pick one from the library. Right. Then it comes the info box. The info box, uh, we can have none which is going to display none when you click on the pin or the hover. You can have a simple or you can have an advanced. I'm going to have a simple one for this pin. If I'm going to click on the pin, it's going to show me a simple info box. Save. I'm going to create another one. Call it pin2. And this time I'm going to select an icon from the plugins library. And I'm actually going to use an advanced info box. So I'm going to click on the checkbox, advanced. I'm going to place it right in the middle. And down here I'm going to add a table. I'm going to click on it, this is how it's actually going to look. Save. Now we do have two pins, so I'm ready to go back to my map. Edit, map pins. So here I can either add only one or both of them to the map. I'm going to add both. Go back to the map. And now the pins are going to show up on the map. So in order to center your map, you just go you select the map and drag it wherever you like. You zoom in, you zoom out. I'm going to zoom it just right here. And I'm going to click save. Now the coordinates for the latitude and longitude are saved. And next time when you come in, this is going to actually, this is how it's actually going to look. Or in the front end as well for the, for the users. Uh, going to the map, we do have uh, sizes, a title. We do have a type. You can you have canvas, aerial. 
street uh, you have a short code so when you're done uh, when you're done updating uh, editing your map you just grab this short code and place it to, uh, into your uh, a page or um, post or whatever you like to add it um, you can disable the mouse uh, wheel zoom you can disable the zoom uh, you can have compact navigation at the top here uh, you can show info box on hover not on click so now it's going to show up the info box uh, or show full screen icon on the left top so i'm done here i'm going to just save the map i'm going to grab the share code go back to posts i'm going to post it into hello world to see how it looks right paste it here update now i want to see it review and this is how the map is going to look simple title advanced info box right back to the plugin in the settings we do have the option to have different sizes for the info box advanced info box not for the simple info box right uh, so you can have custom sizes for desktop tablet and mobile uh, devices in what I want to add here is that in the latest update I added permissions so different uh, user roles have can have access to this plugin not only administrators right so let's add access let's give access to the contributors whoever is a contributor can have access to this plugin to edit right i've already have a contributor contributor with uh, credentials and logged in already just for the sake of this demonstration dashboard now that contributor has access to uh to this plugin and has access to maps uh, plugins and settings if we want to uh, hide the api key for that user hide api key go back in refresh and now it doesn't have it doesn't see it anymore um this is uh, the version 2.07 uh, more are gonna come up in the new versions so stay tuned and hopefully uh, see you next time with another video thank you very much for using this plugin bye